Hey loves, it's Marie Regal and you're tuned into The Mo Show, where I aspire to inspire your mind, body, and soul. And today, we will be starting a new series, um, a book club series of kind of all the re a review on all the books, or not all the books, but a lot of the books I've read and the ones that I really, really like. So I have about seven or eight books that I'm going to be reviewing in this series. So today I'm going to start with two, two of them. They kind of have similar backgrounds, like within spirituality, faith, and um, inspiration type of books. So the first book would be Fruit of the Spirit. And I got this from one of the evangelists in my church. She gave this to me when I went away to college, so it's like a really nice book. Like, I would just kind of read these every morning. It's not even long. It's just kind of, for each one, it's like one page each. And who is this by? It doesn't tell me who it's by, so I don't know how you guys can get this book, but it's called Fruit of the Spirit, and it's really great. And it says, Inspiration for Women from Galatians 5, 22 through 23, which um says the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience um kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control against such there is no law so you know that's kind of a very famous scripture that a lot of people quote different things from because of the fruits of the spirit it doesn't literally mean fruits like grapes and strawberries and that but it's kind of like characteristics of the spirit and things that we should kind of have for ourselves you know self-control and um longer tempers that's that's true too so basically each um day i would kind of get up and i would read different ones and the table of contents this was a long time ago when i read this so kind of reviewing over the table of contents we have love is kind joy generates love peace provides joy patience yields peace kindness needs self-control Goodness thrives on meekness. Faithfulness requires faith. That's a good one. Meekness is good. <clears throat> Self-control takes patience. And that's true. Self-control definitely does take patience. And it definitely does take time. And, you know, time and patience are two things that kind of go hand in hand with that. So, basically, I kind of wanted to just, just review this and kind of give you guys some of the ones that were kind of important to me or kind of stick out to me so write written joys so basically this one got me to start writing things down a lot more it says philippians 4 4 rejoice in the lord always again i will say rejoice so basically it was it gave me a um assignment to do in this one and this is kind of where i started writing more things down writing more blessings that i've been given so it says, when Paula, Pauline feels discouraged, she sets the timer for one hour and makes a list of things she is thankful for. And that was so helpful, believe it or not. Like when I thought things were going bad, I would literally just get out my book and start writing about all the blessings, all the things I'm thankful for. It may not have been things that like, oh, I got this, I got this. It's like, no, I'm living, I'm breathing, my family is alive, my family is okay, my grades are not suffering. You know, different things like that that would kind of get me through college. So... That's why I like this Fruit of the Spirit book. I would definitely recommend everyone find one. I honestly don't know where you can find this at, but I don't know. Maybe I'll look it, look for it. It's religion, Christian life, devotional type of book. So maybe you could probably find it on like Amazon or something like that because this is a really good devotional type of book. And I recommend that everyone gets this book, Fruit of the Spirit. Okay. So on to my really, really, really favorite one. 31 prayers for my future husband when I found this book I was like shook like when I tell you shook about because I was just like for my future husband like does it mean like I'm in the dating phase and I have the boyfriend so or, or am I in the engagement phase and so we're gonna be married soon so I'm like man should I get that because I'm not you know gonna be engaged I'm not dating and I can be engaged soon so I'm like man but this is by Jennifer and Aaron Smith Jen they're um, a married couple. It's really Jennifer and Aaron kind of gives his input on it too. And as you can see, I made little tabs over here on the side for, it's like seven challenges in this book that I haven't done yet. I read the book through and I was like, okay, I'm going to do the challenges as I get time to. And it says, preparing my heart for marriage by praying for him. And that was just so like enlightening to me. I never thought about 
praying for my husband that I don't have, praying for somebody who I do not know yet, who I have not met. Well, I may, may have met the person, but who I do not know will be my husband yet. And so it just gave me like, it's like preparation, inspiration, and revelation. It's just like a really, really great book. So she has like an unveiled wife. It's kind of like her brand type of thing. And they have a book, of course, 31 Prayers for My Future Wife and 31 Prayers for My Husband and for my wife, like if you're already married too. But I'm going to just read you guys a table of contents. It kind of just shows you every all the prayers that I that I read through this book. So we have praying for his heart, his family, his words, protecting his mind, understanding his purpose, confidence in you, staying out of debt, making wise decisions, his health, integrity, resisting temptation, love like Christ, being a good steward, good company, saying no to pornography, dying to self, working hard, striving for purity, a heart of compassion, victory in Christ, becoming a leader, relinquishing worries, living with understanding, fruits of the spirit, like we just talked about in our other book, um, maturing him, humility, preparing his heart, intimacy with God, our future wedding, our future marriage, our future oneness, vow and vows. And I really like this book when I read it. Like I sat here and read this book, this entire book. I mean, it's not a long book, but I don't typically read books in one day. So I just sat here and read the book all the way through in one day, about 170 something odd pages. And what I really like about this book is it has, um, well, you can't really see them from here, but this is like blank pages for you to write on it has lines right here so after you get through with each prayer you can have a write a reflection about each of the prayers that you said you know kind of how you envision this for your life and that's one of the things that i really liked a reflection type of thing because i love to write and i love to think about what i was reading you know reflect on it so i can kind of understand it better so that's why i love this book so much i would definitely recommend anyone getting 31 prayers for my future husband by jennifer and aaron smith like it will literally change your life Especially if you're already in a relationship and you're praying for someone who you know, but they told the book said it's important to pray regardless, like for who the person you want to, you know, you want to be with because they obviously are living on this earth right now. And it's like, it's important to pray for their protection and to pray for their family, to pray for them, to pray for you guys together. It may sound crazy praying for somebody who you don't know, but I mean, that's just like praying for anyone in the world. You just kind of want things to work out well. So you're already preparing for your oneness, preparing for your marriage, preparing for you guys to be together by praying for that person who you may not know is the person for you at this moment. So these are my first two books in the book club review series. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And comment if you have any other books that you would like me to read or review and I'll get on them because I really do like reading. So I just wanted to share a couple of books that I read with you guys. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.